Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Day Tripping with Beetle Pete. Today, I decided to cruise on up to Lidditz, PA. Now, I've been here uh, quite a few times before, and it's been more alive than it is now, but actually, there, there's a lot of cars going back and forth here. And I thought I'd show you around, and I know I'll be coming back, probably with my friend Felicia as uh, things reopen and we'll check things out. But uh, for today, we're gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you what's what's in this historic town of Lidditz, PA. So let's go. So there you see the Lidditz Rolex clock and it is uh, approximately 2.45 on this Wednesday. And there's the sign for the Welcome Center, which is uh, right over here so let's walk around and check out Lidditz so as I was walking through the park here I uh, encountered some friends there's one of them if you're looking for some food you guys looking for some food huh I got food for you. Look, there's a machine here. Here, I'll get you some food. There it is. Come and get it. Hey, do you know anybody by the name of Daffy? He's my favorite. Yeah. And here comes another friend. And another friend, and another friend. There you go. Enjoy. So th this is Lidditz Springs Park. You can see. Got picnic tables. A gazebo. Hi there. Very nice. Now it is a windy day, it's kind of cool. It's probably just around 50 degrees right now. But I decided to take a drive up here just to get out of the house. It was a nice day. There's old Redding car there. Reading Railroad. Be very quiet. We don't want to wake him up. Now this guy's just sitting still, just going against the current, but in one spot, barely moving. There's a railroad crossing here. That building in the background was the Wilbur Chocolate Factory. Yeah, this was the Wilbur Chocolate Factory here. And you can tell it's a very old building. It was uh, built in 1884. And yeah, Wilbur Chocolates. And I don't know if you uh, had Wilbur Buds before, but they are uh, about as good, if not better, than Hershey Kisses. Now, it's condos. They're, they're still building here. It's, it's condos and a hotel, and there's restaurants around the front. However, if you want to buy Wilbur Chocolates, right across the street there is Wilbur Chocolates. Now this is the General Sutter Inn, you can see, 1764. So if you want to come and stay, this would be the place to stay, and this would be the place to eat, the Bull's Head. Now, I've eaten in here a couple times before with Felicia, we came and walked around. 
excellent. Food is delicious. Hi, Pete. So right now I'm walking down East Main Street. It's got a lot of shops. There's the Purple Robin. And right next door is the Tiger's Eye. Now over here, Roma Pizza. Now the last time I was here, Felicia and I decided to get a pizza to take home and let me tell you something, their pizza is delicious. I would get it again. Not today though, cause uh, I got pizza earlier this week, but man, their pizza is delicious. Roma Pizza, and yes, they, it looks like they are open. So I'm still heading down East Main Street. I'm gonna show you guys something really cool that I uh, discovered the last time I was here, which was uh, last May, I believe. Hey, there you go. Candyology. It's all kinds of nice little shops here. There's another pizza, pizza shop, Nino's, New York style pizza, and Italian restaurant. They're open. And here we have the Sugar Whipped Bakery. Josiah's Oils. Marie and Z Boutique. Now this is the Johannes Muller House. It was built in 1792. It's part of the Lidditz Historical Foundation. And right next to it is the Lidditz Museum. Gardens are open to the public, but I doubt if they are right now, but looks very nice. And this is the uh, museum here. Hopefully all these places will be opening up sometime in the near future. So here's the entrance. Oh, look at that stained glass there. I love stained glass. All right, we're getting close to what I wanted to show you guys. This is really cool. Again, discovered it last year. Had no idea that it was here. And uh, it's very cool. Took a tour. Yep. Julius Sturgis Pretzel Bakery. Look at the size of that pretzel. Is that cool? So on this site, in 1861, Julius Sturgis established the first pretzel bakery in the New World. And this tablet is dedicated by the National Pretzel Bakers Institute. So this is it. 1861. And I don't know if you ever had Sturgis's pretzels, but they are delicious. And when I came last year with Felicia, we took a tour of it and we actually got to make a pretzel. Right across the street is this really awesome looking church. Let's go check it out. So, apparently.
Apparently, it's the oldest girls' residence school in the United States, founded in 1746 by the Moravian Church. So that's what this is. Check this out. Definitely looks old. That is awesome. So now I'm heading back up East Main Street. So I'm on the other side. And as you can see by that clock, you can see it. about 325 so this is Isabella's ice cream parlor and of course they are closed that seems to be the story right now but what the world needs now is love and ice cream I agree. So this shop is called Slate. And it's a cafe and coffee shop. And they are closed, of course. I like that sign. It says, share a smile. This is called Sturgis Lane. And there are more shops right down here. Nice little area. Looks like there's a salon, a boutique, a couple other things. A tea affair. Very nice. This is apparently Sturgis Lane. Yes, we will. So if you need an outfit for your pet, it's Gus and Ruby's. They're your pet outfitters. And it says, don't woofie, we are taking orders. And there you have it. I'm heading back toward 501. My car is up here to the right. Yes, the Beetle Mobile's waiting for me. Pretty cool town, huh? Check this out. This is the Tomato Pie Cafe. And they are open for takeout. Or delivery. Haven't been in here yet. Maybe next time I'll check it out. Here's a closer look at the Wilbur Chocolate Store where you can buy their famous Wilbur Buds. And my friends, let me tell you, they are delicious. So last year, it celebrated 125 years. 1894, 2019. And they do have a website. If you ever want to order their chocolate, you can do that. But uh, let's see if we can peek in the window here. Is there. The mug says I love Wilbur chocolate. There's a 
good look inside. You can see in the back there, to the left, all the way in the back, that's where you can get samples. And in the back to the right, you can see people making the chocolates. Now the, the actual factory is not here, but they do make some chocolates. There's the purple turtle. Looks like they have carry out. Takeout. Yep. That's Greco's next door. making me hungry. All right, my friends, we're gonna call it. I'm gonna head back to the Beetlemobile and start making my way back home. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure and vlog uh, up here to Lidditz, PA. It is very nice and I will be back when it, everything is open and we'll check you know, some stores out and some other places and restaurants. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what it was like up here. It's beautiful, it's historic, very nice place to visit and remember check out Wilbur chocolates if you come here be sure to buy the Wilbur buds you'll love it it'll melt in your mouth so until the next one I want to thank you all for joining and I'll see you very soon stay safe stay healthy this is Beetle Pete signing off bye <laughs>